Breeze Off the Pond by Justin Timberlake. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. We're going to start out with this progression. And we're going to move on to this progression. Okay, so let's talk about the chords here real quickly. Um, if you're a beginner, this song is not going to be easy to play. I'm not going to be um, able to really teach you how to play this as a beginner. Just a lot of things going on. You really need to bar the chords to get the right sound and all that. So I would probably discourage you from trying to learn this if you are a beginner. So this is our C minor chord. If you're not a beginner, you probably know how to play this already, but I'll just talk about it real briefly here. So you've got your A minor position and then your index finger is barring the 3rd fret from the 5th string down. That same shape can be moved up to the 8th fret to your F minor. And those are the two main chords that are played throughout this entire song. So, so we're going to go strum, and then you're going to lift your fingers off. So you're muting the strings after you strum. So strum down, lift, strum down, lift, strum down, lift, keep the fingers down, up, down, up, down, up, down. We're going to go to our C minor next. and slow here. And this is what you can do if you're not used to lifting your fingers and applying tension to the strings like that. You can just keep your fingers down. And play it that way. So down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. So our C minor. So that's pretty much the progression that's played out throughout the entire song. There is a refrain slash chorus, whatever you want to call it, that goes like this. Okay, so for this we're starting on our F minor. We're going all the way up here to, let's see, this is a G sharp major. chords you're barring the 11th fret with your index finger and then your ring finger is taking over on the 13th fret for those three strings and then same thing but shift that down to the 6th fret with your index finger here for the E flat chord and this pattern goes like this same strumming pattern so F minor played a little less but it's in there a couple times um, that's going to be it for this tutorial if you have questions please comment below if you enjoyed this content please subscribe to my channel thank you for